Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and show you that we got a lot. This is where we're going to put our mobile home. There's some trailers around us. One over here to the side of us over this way. And there's double wide. And then there's an older trailer across the road over here. This is a corner lot. And there's a paved road there. And then over this way is a, a little dirt road. And you kind of pull down that little dirt road to pull up into our lot. But we got to get over here and cut the grass and clean it up a little bit. There hasn't been a mobile home here in a while. And uh, put our mobile home here. The power pole is right over here to the side. Right over here. And uh, we're just going to kind of kitty corner our mobile home right here. So it's kind of facing the paved road up there and uh i don't know i gotta think about it do i want it sitting kitty cornered because i seen on google maps that there was a trailer sitting here kitty cornered and uh would do, that would make those trees over here like in my front yard or do i just want to face it straight across and let it face the front of the road up there so I'm not sure yet I'm thinking about it if I do that I'll have a little bit of backyard we'll pull into the backyard because I don't think there's a front entrance up there on the road near the mailbox I think there's a little ditch up there but uh this is our lot it's actually a decent size but it's got some trees on it and it's kind of shady so I like that and um Got a mailbox right up here. There's a mailbox on our side. But that's our lot, guys. We finally got something. Okay, guys. Um, want to turn you around so you can kind of see me. I'm a little washed out right here because of the way the sun's hitting me. But anyway, now that I'm sitting here looking at the area... It might be cute to face it straight. Because if I put it, I'm just looking, just trying to see. If I put it over that way, then we'll have a little bit of a clear view toward the front with the trees on each side. And if I put it kitty cornered, the trees are going to be right in the front. Hmm. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I might want it straight. Because that'll put it up a little ways. And uh, we'll have a little bit of a backyard. Because we want, we got some buildings we got to put back here. And uh, if I could get it up like parallel with that tree, that would be good. Have it sitting straight across and that'll be our front yard. And then you just pull into the back. It might work. Our bedroom would be on this side near the uh, dirt road, but I don't think a lot of cars actually come down this road. But anyway, that's our lot, guys. We got a lot. We put a down payment on it. Um, I do want to come over here and clean it up, chop some of these bushes down and all that stuff, and uh, cut the grass and all that before the trailer gets moved in. My husband's going to actually go talk to the man that bought our land today because he's supposed to um, pay up to like $2,500 to move it and it's only 9.2 miles from where we're at right now so hopefully it's not going to cost a whole bunch so we'll see but we have to um, take care of moving our our two buildings out here so anyway we'll see we'll see what what all goes on after he talks to him today and i'll keep you guys updated on everything our mobile home it's just a single wide it's only like a 16 by 56 i think so it's not real long either so that's a good thing it won't be as hard to move and then they should have no problem just pulling it right up in here and turning it you know toward the road there what the way I want and uh, yeah I think it'll look better sitting parallel because then the 
when I cut the grass and all, and it'll just look more like a square lot than if I put it in kitty cornered. There's a little bit of a dirt road here, but it's you just turn right onto the dirt road and turn right into our our lot, so it ain't that bad. Because I hate going down bumpy, windy dirt roads, so I'm glad it ain't. She said she had some more way back down the dirt road there, but I'm like, yeah, I'd rather have that front corner lot on the road, main road. That way, we don't have to go down a big old long dirt road, you know, which it don't look like it's in bad shape, but. You know, your car stays dirtier when you're on a dirt road and all that. So, uh, she said that, uh, the neighbors here were pretty nice. The neighbors over there is pretty nice. So, she said everybody out here seems to be good people, so we shouldn't have any problems with that. And that a lot of people out here has been here for years and years, so... And uh, oh, and if you're new and you're just, this is your first time watching this, we've had to move because the people... Um, that our mobile home is currently sitting on, we was renting from, sold it, so we had to move. And the new people that bought it said, you know, y'all y'all got to October 31st to get out. Because we was only a month-to-month -month lease, that's why. If we had been on a year lease, they would have had to have give us more time to get out. But because we were only on a month-to-month -month lease, they really only had to give us 30 days. Even with the covid they said that um, South Carolina is not on that um, thing where you can, you know, not not boot anybody off or run anybody off right now or evict anybody. South Carolina's not on that. So, uh, really wasn't too much we could do about it. But anyway, he did give us like seven weeks to move it. So, you know, that's almost two months. And uh, so far, everything's been doing going great, you know. I'm not saying that we haven't been under a little... Um, stress trying to get things done but you know i try to uh, do what the word says it says be anxious for nothing and i've been actually pretty calm and cool and and you know dealing with things as it comes and and we're getting it done that's all we can do i guess i'm gonna go i just wanted to do a quick little update and let you not guys know that we got our lot and next thing is just getting ready to move and get all that stuff moved over here so I thank you for all your prayers. I thank you for uh, watching my videos. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. That way you can uh, keep up with us and see how our journey's going on this uh, quick move in like seven weeks that we've been doing. <laughs> but anyway, I reckon I'll go. See you in my next video. God bless.